24-year-old Nick Hunter is no stranger to a life-threatening diagnosis. He was born with cystic fibrosis, a disease that attacks the lungs, and four years ago had a double lung transplant. I've been able to kind of hit the reset button on my illness and really live life the way I've kind of wanted to growing up. Nick recently graduated from college with a journalism degree. He began job hunting and staying on top of COVID-19. I keep up with the news, especially when there's an, like a health issue kind of arising. So I was very aware of what the symptoms were. Nick developed a cough, stuffy nose, low-grade fever, and headache. I just decided to go to the ER. I was concerned enough. Um, and when I went there, they had me tested. I tested positive and they did a chest x-ray and found a severe case of pneumonia. Right away, he was admitted to Cleveland Clinic Akron General, but the next day, his condition worsened. When I was sleeping, my um, oxygen level had dropped like critically low. And so they just, that was, they kind of decided right then and there uh, to put me on a ventilator. Being on a ventilator increases risk for lung infection, making Nick's transplanted lungs even more susceptible to complications. Because you have lungs already that are there that are very vulnerable and very, very sensitive to any sort of change or any sort of insult. Nick spent a week fighting for his life on the ventilator. I haven't really said this out loud very much, but like I've, I, I could have passed away um, without saying goodbye to family without them being there to be with me. Thankfully, that didn't happen. It's been something I've really tried to wrap my head around. He feels lucky to be alive and has a message for those questioning coronavirus. And I would absolutely say the most important thing to do is to take it seriously. Wear a mask, stay six feet apart, wash and sanitize your hands, all, the, all of that stuff. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.